Hello, my name is Ashley. Today I'm going to prepare for you very tastiest mulberry liquor that my grandparents, they used to do it. All right, so we came this way. Now what we do is I want to show you the tree, which I'm going to pick them up by hand. But at the same time, I would like to let you know that when we pick up these fruits that you see here, how beautiful they are. They're already turning black. There is a lot of red while it's black, it becomes sweeter. While it's red, it's a little bit sour. While it's half done, it's sweet and sour. So what I'm gonna do now, I put a little tub plastic under. Here you see the pink and then there is a net under because it's a corner. It's a little bit hard to have people holding it. But I'm gonna shake the tree and I'm gonna drop the fruits just like a rain and then <clears throat> if there is some more left I'm gonna pick them up with hands I'm gonna do this when I pick it up I can't even help it a lot of time I just take like this way and put it in my mouth I wish you were here and you could taste the taste of it so I think it's good people if they have a space to plant it in their house the kids will enjoy it it's fun for them to get up on a tree, uh, pick them up, shake them, and eat them. Even my animals, they enjoy it. My turtles, tortoises, they love it. I put them with their vegetables, and they have a bowl. Of course, it falls a lot on the floor. That's how they eat it. I put my vegetables right there, wherever the berries are falling. This is mulberry, and they will enjoy it. Look how beautiful dark colors they are. They are so delicious, sweet. I shook the tree, it fell as much as it could, and now the rest I'm picking up with my hands. It's such a pleasure to pick them up and having a good time like this. Okay, now I wanna show you. Mm, it's very delicious. Now I wanna show you how much berries we picked it up. Now we're gonna go inside and we're gonna see what we can make with this. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. All right. Now I wanna show you over here. I have four cup of mulberry and I cleaned the stems. It has no stems. So I have to put four cup, which is, this is all four cup. I'm gonna turn on the stove and I'm gonna put four cup of berries over here, which I already measured it to make sure it's four cup. There you go. Now, and you can see all my hands turn out blue, but I can clean it up very fast with baking soda and it will be good. And because it's pretty sweet, very proud of them. Some of them, they are a little bit, it's um, sour. So what I have to do is, I, I'm just gonna use three quarter cup of sugar. All right. And we're gonna put this together and we're gonna mix it and we're gonna make it liquidy and then we're gonna I'm not gonna leave this alone I'm gonna be here and I put it in a medium heat and I'm gonna mix it until the sugar it dissolves and then after it does that I'm gonna take the smasher and I'm gonna smash this as much as I can I'm gonna make it like liquid and this is not a just regular berries that it has a lot of seeds. It has no seeds. You just put it in your mouth and it melts. So now I'm going to just mix this once in a while. And I'm going to turn it uh, liquidy. And what else do we need? We have a little here liquor, which they call Arak. This one you can find it in Middle Eastern store, in Lebanon, in Middle East countries. They drink this. And every dinner time or family when they get together, it's a anise and it's a like a licorice, which you can see over here. It says grape wine and anise seeds, product of Lebanon. Here's the grape uh, picture. And it says only 50% of alcohol. And it's 100% it's proof very 
tasty liquor it is. Now, when you mix this one, people, they drink this just the way it is with a little bit in a cup, with a little shot, with what one ice, with a little water, and what it does, like half and half, what it does, it turns it white. And when you drink it, it's like anise taste. So now I'm gonna make this liquor over here. I'm gonna use half of the bottle for the mulberry. So now I'm gonna make this. And this one, it's not only for cup. When you have a company, you can offer them with a little cup, a liquor with whatever dessert you like. This is what the first thing they offer to the guests. So now I'm gonna wait for this and I'm gonna let this simmer. I mean, it's like melt the sugar and get liquidy and we're gonna show you later on. All right, now you will see over here, I left it about 25 minutes, but very low heat. Sometimes I was covering, but when the water gets like this, do not let, do not empty it back in. I just covered it so it will steam it very good and it separates from all the seeds and stem if there is anything in it. It separates and it will become nice and liquidy. And then uh, you have to smash them very nicely. And now we're gonna turn this off. And now I'm gonna empty this in a strainer over here and I'm gonna take the liquid and I'm gonna let this cool off. Now when we let it cool off, after that we're gonna continue to do it. So we don't wanna we don't want to leave all these delicious juices in the pan. We're going to take this and then when you strain it, do not throw the pulp or the seed away. Because we can use it in a pie or any other different dessert or you can add little sugar and you can make it very delicious jam with this. We do not waste it. So now I'm going to let this like this way so the liquid like you see here, it's straining. So we we're gonna keep this like this until it cool off. And then we're gonna be back. All right, now over here that we put the berries, show them over here, in a strainer with the cheesecloth, but I prefer always to put in a light veil so this way it will come easier, the, all the liquid or just a cheesecloth, like I said, anything you have handy. We will remove this, we won't throw this away. You can use it in, in dessert or you can do anything with this, which I'm gonna make something very delicious later on. Uh-oh, but anyway, here's some still liquid running, but I'm just gonna put this away just the way it is. So you won't throw it away, you'll use it for other good things. Here we go. And now the dessert, uh, the liquid, it's cold. What we have to do now, we have to take the drink, the arak, bring it closer so they can see very well. It says arak, which I said to you, like it's an anise uh, and a white uh, grape liquid wine. We're going to put half of it. Let me see, let's measure it so we will know. Here we have a cup. Oh, it smells already beautiful. All right, that's one cup. And here it is, two cup. So this is a liquor that when you have your guest, you will put them in a little shot cup when we have a guest, this is how the way we offer our guests when they come. This is how much they drink. They just sip it little by little and enjoy their guests. Well, this is very tasty things it is. It's not like for drinking just like a juice. It's just for enjoyment. It's fun with your guests. Well, cheers to you. And I hope if you make it, 
you will like it and if you like it please subscribe to my channel and like and i thank you very much cheers to you thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this channel i want to thank to all my patrons on patreon.com for their support to make my channel possible thank you